Welcome to another episode of The Outdoors with Rich. Buckle up for a four-stop, flavor-packed ride into the heart of old Florida. And joining me today is my 17-year-old partner in crime. Cheyenne's joining me today before she has to head back to school. Closing out my summer vacation. We're hitting the road, but don't worry, you can arrive by boat or car. Now, for the most part, guys, there's nothing fancy about these places. But if you like that old Florida feel off the beaten path, you gotta come check these out. Guys, all four of these locations are along the Alify River, which dumps into the eastern part of Tampa Bay. You can hit every one of these by boat. We're looking for the best appetizers, a great lunch, and of course, Cheyenne, you know we gotta hit those boat drinks. Boat drinks are pina colada, strawberry daiquiris, that's Cheyenne's favorite, even a margarita. Now you're gonna wanna hold on tight for our final stop. Of the four restaurants we're visiting today, it has the best reviews on Google. And guys, this was on season eight of the TV show Bar Rescue. Good evening, welcome everybody. Welcome to AJ's. Come on in, let's eat. Well, here it goes. We're slammed. Everybody's looking at the menu. Everybody's staring at the bartenders. Now the bartenders need to step up, get the orders in. Let's see what happens. So whether you're rolling up in your car or you're heading up the river in your boat, get ready for some great food. Let's call it a taste of old Florida. Hey guys, we're at the Beer Shed in Riverview, Florida. We started off at the beer shed, which we did not eat at. That's the one that had the separate little section. They're technically not affiliated, but you can get the food and then take it uh, and sit out there behind the beer shed. And then the beer shed itself is a bar. Collectively, it's on one little, you know, nice waterfront piece of property. So that was pretty cool. That's the furthest up the Alify River. What were your thoughts on that one? I liked it. I like how close it was to the river. Um, it was kind of small inside and it was like you said like the food was outside and you had to go somewhere else to get the food um, But it was good. I got a Baja Blast there and I've never even tried one of those I didn't even know those were a thing like in a can right so, the Mountain and Dew. it was really good <laughs> Cool little place. Uh, it's my understanding. The food is very good there. I wish we had the time and the stomach capacity to eat at all four of those today, but um, It was good and it's probably the most quaint if you will off the beaten path tucked into a small community it's got a good old florida feel so from there we drove down the river so to speak heading more towards tampa bay if you were on the river by boat and we ended up at tiki docks you hungry yeah me too Good, how are you? Good. What do you want to drink? Can I do um, a strawberry daiquiri? And pina colada? Yeah. Regular or regular? I'll do regular. Do you want to do um, fish bread? Ooh, those nachos look good, but I bet they're a lot. There's crab cakes. 
Let's do crab cakes. Oh, the crab cakes I think are good. Let's do crab cakes. Okay. Not original. Tiki Docks, guys. So you said you're gonna scrape all this stuff off? I was supposed to say that on camera. So you want me to cut out the part where you <laughs> no. said you're gonna scrape all this stuff off? Hey, and you're right-handed and I'm left-handed. Well, we should be we should be switching. You know, my tendency is to scrape it off too, but I'm gonna try. Oh, look at you doing all etiquette where you put it on your own plate. I was gonna eat it off here. <laughs> well, they gave us plate. <laughs> True. So it's like pineapple, onion. It's mango. Cucumber, mango, pico, wasabi, lime, aioli. Ooh, Old Bay mustard sauce. Good, ain't it? <laughs> what were your thoughts on that one? That one I liked. I got we got the crab cakes there. That's the three crab cakes. And um, that was really good. I got a strawberry daiquiri, and that was. So good. One of the best strawberry daiquiris I've had. So I had the pina colada, uh, just a regular pina colada. It had the alcohol in it. Very good. Uh, the crab cakes was one of their appetizers. Very good. Um, Jen and I went there not too long ago and had, I think, a grouper sandwich was phenomenal. But just the indoor ambiance, the outdoor ambiance, brand spanking new boat docks. There's um, bright colors, which is like very water, I don't even know. What is it? I guess kind of like Key West like. Kind of a Key West feel. Like yeah. there was teal and pink and you know, they've the got boat nice area. big floating docks that weren't there before. Right. And now they're all out there. It's really nice. So Tiki Docks has two locations, guys. There's one in St. Pete, Florida, and one in Riverview, Florida. And this is the one we were at on the Alify River. From there we went down uh, all the way to almost the mouth of Tampa Bay down to River's Edge. Now guys, this one is known for its live music on many days of the week, along with being biker friendly. It had a little bit of a different vibe, but you could tell it's, it's um, I don't know if I want to say rough around the edges, but I think, I think so. You know, the, just the community you went through and the, the, the place itself, very open space, really cool outside, you know, bar area, neat docks. Yeah, and they had some cool docks and there was a lot of them. Right. Yeah, and there was a lot a, of outdoor seating with like umbrellas and stuff and the umbrellas were colorful. And then cool. that's the one that's the closest to a very big boat ramp at Williams Park right near the mouth of Tampa Bay. Um, mouth of the Alify River where it meets Tampa Bay. So if you're coming from Tampa Bay and just want to tuck in somewhere to grab a bite to eat and you're going to choose the Alify River to head up to do that, that would be that's going to be the first one you come across. As soon as you pass the 41 bridge heading inland, that place is right there on the right and you saw that there's a, a marina next to it and that sort of thing so we did not try the food there but we did show you guys a picture of the menu so um hey that's the one that's got the best google ratings out of all of them and it's like over 2200 google ratings 4.5 stars so the food must be good they must be doing something right but it's definitely it's definitely a neat place <laughs> Thank you. 
So Jerry's Dockside was pretty cool. There used to be a, a place called Alify Marine that I bought a Carolina skiff there back in the 90s, early 90s. And so now this place is called Jerry's Dockside. This is the one that was on Bar Rescue. You watch YouTube at all? Yeah. My uh, honest, my nephew, he's seven, he has a Lego YouTube channel with like oh, millions cool. of people on there and he plays yeah. with Legos all day. <laughs> that's awesome. We were talking about the Cuban sandwich and tell me the difference again of the two. So our Dockside Cuban is our signature sandwich that has the marinated pulled pork, our sweet ham, um, Swiss cheese, pickles, Cuban sauce. Cuban sauce is just a mayo mustard mix that we make here and then they press it on the grill for you. Which and that's more popular for sure? Oh yeah. All right, we'll do that. You wanna do that? We're gonna split one. The place was very clean, on the water. There's a Freedom Boat Club there. That's why you saw all those boats lines. Captain Dan, who's a friend of mine, owns this tiki boat. He offers river cruises and sunset cruises. Definitely a fun time. Dan, I hope you didn't mind me flying my drone right through your, um, your <laughs> tiki boat. If you're ever boating or by car to that place, you can absolutely feel really, really comfortable. It's a, it's a cool Florida vibe. They had a good Cuban sandwich. Yes. And I don't even like Cuban sandwiches that much because I'm a picky eater, but that was so good. Hi, Corey. Awesome, thank you. Y'all have a good one, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Like the other one? You can. Whatever you want. I don't, I mean, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Don't forget to say your prayers. Um, if you cut it there, I can just eat that one. Probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Real good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. These restaurant bouncing vi mm -hmm. <laughs> videos may cause our calorie intake to go awry. Mm -hmm. I'm a picky eater too, but this is good. It's fun though. So that was Jerry. So all in all, um, really good trip. I thought it was a neat video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as much. What do you think? Yeah, it was cool to get to see all the different ones. And they're all really pretty because they're all in the water. Right. And I think if you went in the evening, you know, and they've got their party lights going or yeah. there's the music going. You know, we started this out, guys, on a Friday at, we left here at like 9.30 in the morning, the first one we were there before they opened. All of them, by the way, on their website say they open at 11 a.m., at least on Friday. It was a good day. Yeah, it's good. Had some good food. There's a bell, there's a subscribe, and there's a like. Any or all of those that you can do would mean a lot to us. It help us let us know that you like this kind of stuff. And you know what? It's not hurting our feelings if you give it the thumbs down. If this isn't something you want to see again from us in the future, give it a thumbs down. It's your way of communicating. And of course, leave a comment if you like. We appreciate you guys. We love you. We had a good time. Yes, sir. And until next time, may God bless you.